Welcome to the Fox One Corp series of training videos. I'm Dave Springford. Please visit me online at www.fox1corp.com for all your glider supplies. Within the graphics menu, the next thing I want to look at is the thermal assistant. Within the thermal assistant, the first thing that we see is to color the circles. And these are the dots that appear on your thermal assistant that tell you where the strong parts and the weak parts of the thermal are located. If we set it to auto span, then the weakest part of the thermal will be blue and the strongest part of the thermal will be red. Other options we have besides auto span, we can set it to McCready, in which case any part of the thermal that's lower than the value of McCready we have set will be blue, the values that are equal to the McCready will be yellow, and the values that are stronger than McCready will be red. So that tells me how the thermal is compared to McCready, which also tells me which is the weak side and the strong side, but I prefer to use auto span. That way it scales with the climb rate regardless of your McCready setting. Another option is you can have it set to average vario, so it will color much like McCready, but based on your average vario rate. So I'm going to leave that at auto span. Switch to Thermal Assistant. If you want it to show, then you have to set this to one of the settings, such as Encircling, Automatic, or with your Speed Command, Vario Switch. Three options. You can toggle into the Thermal Assistant with your Speed Command Switch. You can have the S80 or S100 automatically go into Thermaling as soon as you start to circle or you can have it completely disabled so you don't see it at all. The next option is use active navigation data. If you enable that, then you'll still see navigation data for your task or for your waypoint, depending whether you're in task mode or waypoint mode. You'll see that on your thermal assistant page. The thermal assistant ping method, that is like on the LX9000 Varios called beep. So while you're thermaling, if you would like the Vario to beep or ping at you before you're approaching the maximum point of the thermal, we'd have this set. If we set it to time, then we can see right now it's set three seconds before you get to the maximum part of the thermal, you're going to get a little ping on the Vario, which means reduce your bank angle, wait for the peak, and then increase your bank angle again. So we can set this to time, we can set it to angle, so we can see the next one down is angle before ping. So those are our two options plus a disabled option if you don't want to hear it at all. So we'll leave it at time and three seconds as the default. Hopefully you've learned something about the S-Series of Varios today. If you have any questions or comments, please drop them in the comments section below or send me an email and visit me online at www.fox1corp.com.